I got into music from a ridiculously young age, really. I mean, I started playing acoustic guitar when I was five. My parents brought me up with uh, all the best music. I remember just being surrounded by all sorts of different cultures and and solo artists and bands on, on the vinyl player um, from a really, really young age. So I had Hendrix to look up to as a guitarist, Neil Young as a songwriter, Rory Gallagher for his sort of, sort of stage persona, Zeppelin. Um, it was something I all, being in a band or being a musician was something I always was dreamed of doing as a kid, as a lot of, uh, a lot of young people would. Um, but I think it was more than that for me. I think there was such an emotional connection to music. And I, uh, I remember writing from, from when I was sort of six, seven. I, I would write little songs and I'd record them on a, on a little Tony Price tape recorder and then I'd line all my little toys up and imagine it was like playing Glastonbury. Um, so I've always had this dream of performing um, to big crowds and audiences. And my parents were incredibly supportive with it. They never, when I, when I got older and you know, most parents would would give the comments like, "When you're going to get a, a real job?" or you know, things like that. They never, I never had that. They were they were incredibly, incredibly supportive, and they pushed me to to doing this as a career. So I first started playing in bands probably around 12, 13, around about then. Um, and I was always a very, very shy kid, uh, but obviously I knew that music was my one outlet. So. I always sort of lended myself and gravitated towards very confident people who would often be the front man of the band and I would sort of sit back as the guitarist songwriter. Um, sort of my early days playing, I was in a band, the first ever band I was in was called Salt and Open Wounds. We are a ska punk band with a trumpet player, it was awful. Um, but it was brilliant, we used to play uh, in Plymouth in this venue called The Phoenix. My dad would drop us off as 13 year olds and we'd play this dive bar to, to locals, sometimes big crowds supporting bands like Howard's Alias, Cap Down. Um, but that was sort of a real learning curve for me for sort of uh, tour etiquette, you know, from a really young age of how to behave and how to accept criticism and heckles and, and all of that. Um, so that, that really sculpted me as a musician, I think, because before, like I said, I was extremely shy. Um, I took so much on board from, from playing to these sort of different people from such a young age in, in some of the rougher parts of Britain that, um, yeah, I think it developed me as a, as a musician, definitely. Um, and then from there, it was just, yeah, joining mates bands until I think maybe like 25 when I thought, you know what, I've been writing music for, since I was like six, seven years old, so I'm actually going to do this now. And Foxes was all, it was never a hobby project. It was always 100% a career for me. At the moment that we started the band, um, and when Ant and Tris joined, they were completely on board with that as well. We knew, um, and it's not an arrogant thing, but we knew the music was strong enough to be able to get us to a stage where we could get a label deal. Uh, we could get good tours. We knew, we knew it was because of the feedback we were getting. Um, so it was just about keeping smart, keeping switched on, writing more content so when those things did come we weren't suddenly overwhelmed by it all. Um, so that, that, that's kind of the progression really from, from how I started out. I, I've, I'm really fortunate, I always knew I wanted to do music, it's that one thing I've, I've just known. Um, it's sort of, it's helped me out so much in all aspects of my life. Um, I think touring, touring wise, I think when I was a when I was a kid, I definitely obviously was naive to what touring was. Um, and I mean, we're fortunate enough to have, you know, be fairly comfortable with touring now. We've got an ama amazing team around us and everything, but living with Crohn's disease and touring is, it's a nightmare. I'm constantly battling illness. Um, I, my body is telling me I shouldn't be doing it whilst my mind's telling me this is the best thing in the world. So I'm in constant conflict with myself. Um, so, you know, it's hard. Today is a really hard day. I had a, like a, a relapse last night, so it's a, it's a particularly tough thing to overcome. Uh, but it makes it all more worthwhile when you can go out there and um, perform and you can get through that. So amongst with the touring and now sort of being in this place of essentially, that, you know, I'm earning enough money now to act, this is my job, this is my profession, which feels incredibly strange. 
you're also in a constant battle with yourself with are you selling enough albums, are you good enough, are you selling enough tickets to your concert? So it becomes a new stress, it's like you've got to the stage you wanted to and then there's new problems that are sort of arising and I think I, I think the reason our, our audiences connect with the band so well, especially live, is because it's, it's so, so real. Um, like everything I'm singing about and all the dynamics in the music, it's, it's different every night and, it, and I will project everything that I'm feeling in that moment, everything I need to get off my chest, everything, it's just a completely cathartic experience. Um, and I think, uh, I think our shows really benefit from that. It's a lot of hard work, like I come off stage emotionally drained. Um, it's not like I'm just singing a track that I've played 50 times and I'm just getting through it. Every time it's different for me, there's new parts of the song which I'm I, I'm reflecting on as I'm singing them, remem remembering being in that dark place or uh, and stuff like that. So there's yeah, there's uh, our shows are incredibly cathartic because of that, and I think our, our audiences really really appreciate that. And I think it'll take us. I, I do think it's a a matter of when with this band and not if. I think we need to get a lot more content out, and uh, in time we'll just be one of those bands that just slowly work our way up and gather fans because our fans aren't fickle, they're, they're, they're there for life. So that's, that's a really good feeling.